Tom Hoover, North American Aviation Test and Demonstration Pilot, will make the F-100 do everything but talk when he appears here soon. Slow rolls, high speed passes, low speed passes. And uh, he took care of us very, very well. Was a friend of Bob's. So one of my last visits to the factory, I became acquainted with the F-100. It was being built at that time, and they were having problems with it. I'm Buster McGee. I went to uh, Malden for primary, and then Craig Air Force Base for basic, and the T-33, and then on through the Luke, Luke and Nellis F-100 program. It was a great airplane. And once we learned to fly it, it did great things. But today, the F-100 enjoys the worst accident record of any airplane the Air Force has ever owned. And uh, 1958, I, they lost uh, 300 airplanes or some phenomenal number. So the teething problems were really something. On January 10th, 1956, an Edwards Air Force Base camera test crew near the runway filmed one of the most iconic accidents ever captured on film. And it became known as the Sabre Dance. This eerie death waltz down the runway soon became one tango fighter pilots didn't want on their dance card. They even wrote a bar song about it. I'm uh, Vic Pescara, and I did a 24-year career in the Air Force, and I was very fortunate to get F-100 assignment right out of pilot training. The reason I was pleased about that assignment was, first of all, I wanted fighters, and uh, the thing about it is that the F-100 came with a challenging reputation in that it did have some uh, characteristics, flat characteristics, that if you weren't careful, the airplane could come up and bite you in the ass. Of course, there's the infamous Sabre Dance uh, movie that I think is probably one of the most watched movies because every F-100 pilot, potential F-100 pilot, was shown that movie before he ever made his first takeoff. And unfortunately, it was not the last Sabre Dance that occurred in the Air Force, there were several. One of them occurred while I was going through the 100 course at Luke. Uh, one of my classmates was in a C and he was making a formation takeoff with an F and the F had a slightly higher rated engine and the student pilot in the F uh, was inexperienced enough that he didn't know to give his wingman 2% uh, off the full mill so that the wingman would always have enough power to do whatever lead was doing. And sure enough, uh, lead out-accelerated out uh, the wingman, the student pilot. And when lead rotated, number two rotated with him and got airborne. But as soon as he got out of uh, uh, the ground effect, the airplane started mushing back down into the runway. And instinctively, the student pilot pulled back on a stick, kept on getting a higher and higher nose attitude. and. I needed somebody to tell him, get your nose down, but that call never came. And he finally went down the runway doing the infamous sabre dance and crashed at the, uh, uh, just off the field boundary. Like I said before, the airplane was challenging to fly correctly, but that's what I liked about it is that uh, once you mastered the 100, I think it made you a better pilot. <laughs> 